Hi guys. Um, I've tried recording this. This is now my third take and it keeps getting really rambling. So I'm going to cut it down a little bit and try to be a little bit more coherent. Um, so it's been weeks and weeks since I last did an update. And last I spoke to you, I was this close getting done with my first draft. Um, I would love to give excuses as to why I took so long to get back on here, but really what it came down to is I should have done the video on the day that I finished my first draft, which was the last Monday of August. It is now the second week of September. So um, I should have done a video that day, but I finished my final draft at like 11 o'clock at night and my bedtime is like 7.30. So I didn't want to do that that day. And then the next day, I also didn't want to do it. So I kept putting it off and putting it off. And now here we are, uh, more than two weeks after I actually finished my original first draft. So I'm going to give you a quick update on the things that previously happened. And then we're going to go on to what the plan is for this next month. So uh, I finished, like I said, my very first fast draft, uh, the last Monday of August. Um, it was full of a bunch of notes of things that I had caught during the drafting process that I knew were going to need to change, but I wanted to save for the second draft, um, instead of fidgeting with them right then and there. Um, and I decided I couldn't leave those things for the second draft because I did not want to print my first proof copy with a bunch of notes in it that were in a, in parentheses um because it would drive me nuts so i decided to devote tuesday through friday of the um final week of august to going through and getting all those taken care of that i already knew were going to need to be fixed um including where i basically summarized the final ha the last half of the final chapter saying i realize this character isn't an antagonist and they're actually going to be a good guy and I need to go back and completely change a bunch of crap. So I went through and I did that because I couldn't finish the last chapter really without going back and fixing these things because I didn't have the stuff in my brain as to how that character was actually going to act in the final half of the final chapter. So I went through, I fixed those, then I really drafted the final chapter instead of just doing a summary final half of the final chapter. Um, and then I was happy with it. I ordered a proof copy from Create Space uh, on Friday evening. Um, and I was really hoping it would be here by the time I left on Wednesday. No, Tuesday. Tuesday afternoon. I left Tuesday afternoon the following week. So Friday evening I ordered it at like, at like 9 o'clock at night. And then Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and then Tuesday. I left Tuesday afternoon. Um, and I was really hoping I'd get it in time, even though I didn't do express shipping. Um, I, I basically thought for sure I wasn't going to get it in time because it said it was going to take 10 days. But when I checked the tracking, it said it had already shipped on Saturday because Great Space is amazingly fast, apparently. So, um... I did get it like literally a half hour before I had to leave for my flight. It arrived in the mail and I was so thrilled. So this is my unedited proof copy that I made. Oh my gosh, there's already a typo on the back plus like run on sentences and crap. I don't know if you can read that from there. Please don't read it. It's atrocious. Uh, <laughs> but I had this to take on my vacation. That's why it's kind of beat up and the ends are already kind of bent and crap because it was in my backpack and... It was in Oklahoma where I was getting it beat up. But anyway, I got my thing. I managed to give my mom, I ordered three copies. I had one copy for me to actually edit. One copy I was gonna give to a friend until I realized how bad the typos are and stuff. And I decided I'm just gonna keep that as a souvenir. Um, so this one's my editing copy that I was scribbling in and stuff. As you can see, there's lots of little things where I scribbled, but um, that's my copy, and then I have a pristine copy I'm not editing, um, and then I had a copy I gave to my mother, which I kind of regret, except for it's a souvenir for her. I'm going to tell her she ought to get rid of that after I get the second draft printed where I take care of a lot of these typos, because they're bad. Um, anyway, so that's that updates us to today. Uh, we have this. I decided... Three days ago, I was going to make a plan because I want to get my second, sorry, two days ago. Did I say two days ago? I don't know. Anyway, I decided I was going to make a plan to try to get my second draft done by the end of September, which leaves me with about three weeks because I didn't get 
anything done on my vacation as far as editing and revising and all that fun stuff. So um, here's my plan. Don't bother to try to read it. I'm going to explain it. It's my horrible handwriting anyway. You wouldn't be able to read it. And my spelling is atrocious. Um, so anyway, uh, from the 6th of September, which was a couple days ago, through the 8th, which is today, I'm trying to get my first uh, listen through slash read through done um, where I take notes on any major story changes need to happen, any areas where there needs to be fact checking, research done, um, any areas where there are continuity problems. So I highlight these three things and these are the three things I'm really focusing on for my second draft um, is continuity problems, uh, places where scenes need to be added, deleted, edited, or sorry, revised, not edited, different things. Um, and any areas that need research and or fact checking. Uh, so I highlight these things, different things. I highlight continuity errors in purple. I highlight areas where details need to be added or scenes need to be added in green. And I highlight areas that need research or fact checking in blue. Those are the three things I'm focusing on on my first or my second draft here. I'm also trying to catch as many typos as I possibly can because I can't stand reading through it with all the typos. It's driving me up the damn wall because it's really bad guys. Like seriously, I'm not even kidding. There are pages where there are 10 typos on one page. It's bad. Uh, but anyway, I don't know why my, sorry, I've got a rant for a minute. Why does Microsoft Word think that the word happening is a word? I don't think happening is a word, but every time I tried to write happening, <laughs> like every time I've come across in here, it, it's happening in the text. So I've had to go through and fix those and temporarily as should, should have been temporarily and stuff. Anyway. That was, that was my rant. Anyway, this is getting long, so I'm going to try to wrap this up. So uh, my plan is, and I actually wrote this wrong. I should have done this in a different order when I first made this plan, so I'm going to rewrite it. But um, for the first three days after I do my listen through, which I should be finishing through today, I say listening through because I have a recording of it in a robotic voice from, from uh, my Dragon Naturally Speaking because that helps me catch typos that I would otherwise skim over. Um and it makes it easier to get through my first read through. Uh, so once I'm done with that, which should be finished today, the next three days I'm gonna devote to uh, research and fact checking and going through all those, which are highlighted in blue. Uh, after those three days devoted to that, I'm gonna go through and, I'm try and try to fix my purple highlighted things, which are continuity errors. Most of those are relatively small revisions that are gonna have to be made. They're just like, I said something in chapter 20 about something that sh happened back or would have happened in the scene back in like 17 or something. Um, but I didn't actually do it's just by the time I got to 20, I'm like, Oh, I should have done this in this chapter back then. So I just wrote it as if that had already happened and then I was going to go back and fix it. So, um, I'm going to devote four days to continuity errors. That ought to be plenty of time because those are relatively small for the most part. And then I'm going to devote a week and a half to adding needed scenes and details because I have quite a few of those. And some of those involve like seriously writing like a whole half a chapter more into chapters. So um, I'm devoting a week and a half to that. Uh, and then I'm going to do a final re-listen through after I've made those three major major revisions and stuff uh, to catch any typos and stuff that I can possibly catch. Uh, I'm going to allow myself three days for that. And then the final uh, day in the month on the 30th, I I wrote in here that I'm going to use it to make a new cover because I don't know if you can tell by looking at the video, but this is not a high resolution photo and it came out kind of blurry. But I've gotten feedback from people that they actually don't mind that it's blurry and that it actually kind of fits with it. Uh, but it's bothering me that it's blurry. So we'll see. Except for I really like the image and I want to be able to use it, but it's not high res. Um, and I will eventually have to change it anyway for any copy that isn't just for me. Because I don't own that image. <laughs> That's not my image. That's just a Google search image. So um, it's... It's not my image, it's not my artwork, so I can't publish it with that. I will have to do a different cover where the image is not something off Google um, when I actually choose to publish. But for now, it's just it's just my copies. So, um, what was I saying? 
I got lost. I got off track. Anyway, so that is my plan. And I'm putting that on here so that I have to keep myself accountable. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm not going to do a video like every day because I don't have the time or energy or the give a dams to do that. So uh, I think I'm going to make it so that each time I get one new item checked off, then I will do a video to update you and tell you how that particular that particular thing went and if I ended up staying on schedule or not, if it ended up being more than I had originally planned and uh, how long it took me. So we'll do that and I will uh, try to be more disciplined about actually getting back to you when I say I will. Um, and that's the plan for now. Uh, I still do not have my first chapter up like I've been saying that I was going to do a recording of it. So I may do a read through of that because my hubby actually did a, an audio recording for me of the first chapter, but I've actually changed quite a few things <laughs> since he did that. So it's now obsolete and uh, it was rather unpolished to begin with, even though he did a really good job. And I love how he does different voices for different characters. It's so fun. But um, I think I'm just going to do my own read through for here uh, the first time. And then later when I'm actually on my final draft, I'll have him do a read through of probably the whole book and make an audio version uh, because he does really good at voice acting stuff and different voices and such cracked me up actually I was laughing the whole time he read the first chapter through but anyway I am rambling again I apologize at least this is like seven this take you're gonna have to take my word for it this is like seven minutes shorter than the first three recordings I did so I'm gonna let you go uh thank you for hanging in there uh thank you for helping to keep me accountable while I go through my second draft and I will be updating you shortly all right bye-bye